Hello citizens of the world. We are the anonymous charity also known as the collective. Today we will discuss the current stage of the new world order, the death of privacy. Technology has always been given to the public in a forced way, without health or safety requirements, or laws. Because of the total absence of education on the technology we are forced to use from birth, technology is able to be increased and updated and expanded ad nauseum in such haste, that the public has no hope of keeping up. This is the obvious point. The reason why should be equally obvious. So let us jump right into it. Keeping in mind that the elite always take their time, these effects will not be noticed right away with quantum computers. It has been publicly announced that they will be officially active in five short years. We know they always tell us technological advances, after they have been doing it for a while anyway. Quantum computers have been active and in the process of being perfected since the 1960s. They are simply waiting to bring the internet speed up to a speed that can handle the quantum computers. 5G. Then the official switch will be made and let the decrypting begin. Today there is practically no privacy or anonymity as it is, however thanks to the total lack of education people have regarding the internet and the devices they use every hour of the day, it will be exponentially worse. Just as you don't see all of your data going through NSA's X key score to be logged and saved, you will not see the quantum computers at work. One must have education and a license to use potentially fatal machinery such as a car a tool for travel, but there is no training or license to be online, to use the internet, which has proven time again is fatal, when in the hands of the ignorant. This ignorance is why many truth speakers, researchers, leakers and anons are jailed and killed. Soon you will not have the option of choice. Due to your surrender of the only thing separating you from the dung beetle, free will, we will all be forced to use their so-called encrypted and secured systems. Why has everything society depends on been thrust onto the internet over the last 20 years? Banking is rarely done with cash, it is done electronically, through apps, convenient. Shopping is done online, payments done online, applications done online, communication done online filing your taxes, receiving medical records, all done online. You have all been funneled into a life of total dependence to the internet. Why do you think that is? Is it not obvious? How do you control everyone in the world when they think they are in different countries? One platform. How do you gain control over all aspects of every individual's life? one platform that records and saves all data from each individual. People think they are free. Fools and oblivious to the fact that every time they press a button on their keyboard it is logged and recorded. It is stamped with the date, time and location. People ignore the fact that this is how it works, and never wonder why. You think of yourself as individual human beings. The elite think of you as product product whose expiration dates are soon coming up. You have all been funneled into the elite's paths as the elite open them up for you, and this will be no different. But it will be far worse as it is one more crucial step to the finalization of the new world order, what some call the beast system. Already we see the owners of all technology working diligently on this project. All the big boys are involved, including MIT, naturally, Georgia Tech. Cambridge, University of Maryland, Nanjing University, University College of London, University of Tokyo, Chinese Academy of Sciences, Niels Bohr Institute, University of Basel and Bristol University, Yale and Berkeley of course, and more. Lockheed Martin, the National Security Agency, AT&T, Airbus, and Fujitsu, Microsoft and Intel have joined Alibaba, Google, IBM, Tencent and a host of academic and national research labs including China, the European Commission, Russia and the US in a quest to build working quantum computing hardware and software. Once again, we see the main elite strongholds working all together to bring this one system into place. And some people still think these countries are separate entities. Silly sleepers. 
Everything is connected already thanks to the internet. So if one country has the quantum experience up and running, every country is subject to it. Their info will simply be routed through that system until theirs is finalized. We have already seen them beginning to integrate this with cryptocurrencies. Once quantum computing is up everything that was encrypted before will no longer be encrypted. So all of you who jumped on the crypto bandwagon will be fully exposed which will force you to take a crypto they offer which is secured through quantum encryption. It is also obvious we really hope you get it this time. They will provide the cryptocurrency with the only encryptions they provide, because of this there can be no privacy from the elite, they must know all. Nothing is new. Nothing changes because the people do nothing to stop it. The companies making the encryptions are the same ones that have been exposed for putting back doors and spyware they make into the devices, and platforms everyone uses. We have discussed in great detail the elites need for your data and why governments collect it all. We have exposed the documents detailing the labeling of citizens, the agenda of the elite for depopulation and slave population, how they have made all of these platforms such as Google, Facebook, Twitter and the like, simply to collect your data. These things have been going on and growing and becoming more and more over the years, and this quantum computing is one more giant step into life under the big brown eye of the elite. We must be vigilant. Realize what it is you are actually giving to them. You hand them your soul on a silver platter expecting they won't destroy it. When that is the only reason they do all that they do. Wake the fuck up already. Quantum computers are far different from the computers we know today, now called classical computers. We have discussed the differences and capabilities before and will simply remind you that this is a different animal entirely. We cannot treat it or think of it as another classical computer, just as we cannot treat 5G as another version of the internet when it comes. This will be different from anything the public has known before, and the lack of education on the current systems will only further the gap in knowledge when the swap takes place. China is about to launch the Jinan project, what it claims is the world's first unhackable quantum network, and a major milestone in the development of quantum technology. Zuf, assistant director of the Jinan Institute of Quantum Technology stated, we plan to use the network for national defense finance and other fields, and hope to spread it out as a pilot that if successful can be used across China and the whole world. Naturally the first on the list is defense. Technology is used for war, destruction, to take things from you, not the other way around. Dreamers state how good technology is because of what could be done with it and how it could benefit humanity but after thousands of years of elite technology, it is quite obvious that technology has never and will never be used for our benefit. Making these types of ludicrous statements and wishes only allows them to continue increasing their control over us through their technological developments. It is the ball to our chains of slavery to the elite and their masters. It has been stated that in the Jinan network, around 200 users from China's military, government, finance and electricity sectors will be able to send messages safe in the knowledge that only they are reading them. It will be the world's longest land-based quantum communications network, stretching over 2000 kilometers. The method of encryption they are using, involves sending a shared encryption key embedded in quantum entangled particles of light. Because they are entangled, if one particle is intercepted by someone attempting to eavesdrop on the communication, the key will be altered in both particles, making it useless. Obviously this destroys the encryption. So everyone loses. This QKD system is also hackable without detection, though they advertise the opposite. Let us go into more detail on the encryption side of the quantum experience. If we look at the Bell experiment, in the security context, the size of the violation, or hack hack, is related to the amount of key that can be securely extracted from the system. However, a proper, loophole free, violation is difficult to achieve. For long distance experiments, 
Photons are the system of choice and one particularly difficult problem is to detect enough of the photon pairs. This is known as the efficiency loophole. With classical computers of today this is called cracking. Decrypting the keys that encrypt. The Bell inequality violation can be faked. Making a QKD, or quantum key distribution, system seem secure while it is not. QKD relies on the fundamental characteristics of quantum mechanics which are invulnerable to increasing computational power, and may be performed by using the quantum properties of light, lasers, fiber optics as well as free space transmission technology. QKD was first introduced in 1984. As it is easier to understand these mathematical details better by reading, please see more here. There are six different quantum encryption methods being worked on right now. All of which are able to be hacked through their photons, through an attack called photon entanglement. Among all the lattice-based candidates for encryptions used by governments regarding quantum computers, NTIU is the most efficient and secure algorithm making it a promising candidate for the post-quantum era. NTIU relies on the difficulty of factorizing certain polynomials making it resistant against Shaw's algorithm. To provide 128-bit post-quantum security level NTIU demands 12,881-bit keys. IBM has warned people to move to alternate forms of encryption now, as the encryptions we have all used since the dawn of the internet will now be totally decrypted with the activation of quantum computing. Everything will be exposed. That is why your online footprint has always mattered. It might not mean much to you right now, but until you act according to the future, you will be destroyed by your past. Consequences for Ignorance This switch from classical to quantum computing is giving them the need to sell you security. As we already know all systems are hackable, always. That is how computers work. The hacks you should be concerned about are the ones written into the tools and platforms you use. That is why any quantum computing encryption is a hoax by default. The point for having quantum computing capabilities is to be able to solve large problems, large problems being math, hashes, which is encryption. The NSA owns most of the websites on the deep web, the majority of which are child pornography sites. Not stopping with the NSA also owns and controls email services foreign governments and schools use. The NSA identifies Tor users on the internet and then executes an attack against their Firefox web browser. To accomplish this, the NSA relies on its ability to monitor large parts of the internet. This is done via the agency's partnership with US telecoms firms under programs codenamed Stormbrew. Fairview, Oakstar, and Blarney. Using data analysis tools such as Turbulence, Turmoil, and Tumult, the NSA automatically sifts through internet traffic, looking for Tor connections. After identifying an individual Tor user on the internet, the NSA uses its network of secret internet servers to redirect those users to another set of secret internet servers, with the code name Fox Acid, to infect the user's computer. Quantum computing will be no different. The only difference will be that instead of being blind as far as things of the internet are concerned, we will know everything about it. The choice will be ours. The people will choose to give their lives and minds and souls to the elite. They do every time. Deception always seems so inviting and beautiful. The reason they must spend all this money on making what they claim will be security, is just another scam to add to the list of compromised security systems. The only security you will ever get from the elite is a false advertised security only fools fall for. It's the internet. Everything built and given to the public to use, is built with backdoors linked to governments who are using the information against us, they are the ones we need privacy from. They are the ones taking it from us. This is simply increasing the amount of spyware they are using, increasing the amount of data they can use and collect and interpret, increasing their control over our lives through our bodies and minds. Thus far they have been able to gather all info and store it, but have not had the ability to process it all. 
that will no longer be an issue. Realize the point of the quantum computing agenda. It is to strip us all of privacy and the possibility of it. The point is the only ones with encryption abilities and the right to keep privacy won't be us. It will be them. The point is this is the death of privacy. For us. Their war is against us. This should be seen for what it is, a direct attack on a free humanity and a devastating battle wound which will lead to our death. Naturally, Google has already begun work on what it calls protecting its Chrome browser from the quantum computer threat, by testing post-quantum cryptography in its browser known as Chrome Canary. We have seen how this works before, with the false sense of security we receive on many platforms. VPNs which advertise your safety for free when in fact nothing is free. If you don't pay for it, then you are the product they are selling. Twitter is free. Why does it make billions of dollars a year? Because it sells you. All of these platforms also use ads to track you and keep you in a censored bubble of bullshit so you are locked into the same circle of information. This makes you stagnant. This makes your mind weak and ignorant. This is what social medias do. This is not rocket science people, it's pretty much common sense. Email services and browsers which have long been thought to be secure have in recent years accepted money for their clients information. Big companies make big money all in the name of your convenience. Your laziness. They will simply lie to you through advertisements and give you a false sense of security. Another example for you would be the government's ability to obtain all of your search and email history and all subsequent information. Protomail is considered a secure email service, at least it is considered far better than Google. However many whistleblowers have been exposed and jailed in recent years because they were sold out by Proton Mail. The reality of the internet has been and always will be this, if someone wants your info, they can get it. Everyone has a price in this corrupted world. That is why we choose to use BitMessage. It uses 256 bit ECC keys and OpenSSL for cryptographic functions. BitMessage nodes store the encrypted messages only for two days before erasing them. Therefore, messages are not archived in the network. Any message which did not result in a receipt acknowledgement is flagged by the BitMessage client software and the sender is notified. We used to have a sense of anonymity online when we used disposable phones, emails, VPNs and Tor browsers. Because of this ability to take certain precautions and follow certain protocols in order to be anonymous on the internet, the anonymous charity also known as The Collective was able to be born. We already know thanks to extensive leaks on Google, Twitter, WhatsApp, Facebook, Microsoft and more, that all systems today are backdoored as they always have been. Everything connected to the internet is linked, connected, and logged by the NSA to be used against you when they see fit, regardless of what country you are a citizen of. The point is for you not to have security or privacy. The point of them advertising security or encryption for quantum computers is just another scam for profit. The government controlling entities such as Mossad, CIA, NSA, and the rest, will always have the abilities to keep themselves secure. They have the unlimited resources to afford what it takes and it will take even more than it has in the past but they will spend all they must to at the very least be able to sell it to you, the illusion that there is security and privacy. Even when these systems are made for the complete opposite and it is all becoming so obvious with every single new technology and app and bullshit they put out. It is also repetitive by now it is incomprehensible how the majority stays blind to these basic concepts of elite agendas. The power of choice. We are getting closer to create a fully operational universal quantum computer that can utilize strong quantum algorithms such as Shaw's algorithm and Grover's algorithm. The consequence of this technological advancement is the absolute collapse of the present public key algorithms that are considered secure, such as RSA and elliptic curve crypto systems. It is estimated that 2048 bit RSA keys can be broken on a quantum computer comprising 4000 bits. 
what they like to keep silent is how far along they are in this process. If you think this is not already in play now, then you are still suffering from illusions of the matrix. You need to unplug before you are lost. D-Wave's latest processor has 2000 qubits, by next year it will be 4000 qubits. Currently we have the option to get our personal data offline and out of the databases they are stored on. Once the quantum system is hooked up and active, there will be no doing this. It will be too late. That is the problem. People have their entire lives online, on databases all over the world all owned by the NSA, by one government. Quantum computing will bring in AI. That is what is needed for the AI system. To feed this system they need data. Hence, the decades of data collection of all phone calls, emails, clicks, likes, shares, posts, comments, addresses, bank accounts, surveys, utility activity, transactions, every move you have made. You put it all on the internet, so all they had to do was make the system that can handle that much data, leading them one step closer to the one system, the all-knowing and all-seeing system which is yet to come and fast approaching. No more hassling over how much a company must be bribed before giving out private info, it will be openly available. It is the same story, just repeated and made stronger, bigger and faster. Nothing is new, it is simply allowed to continue expanding thanks to the complacency of the people. They have slowly forced every single area of your life to be controlled by the internet. You have fallen for it every time as they advertise it under convenience. You being so lazy and thick headed accept this convenience like the prostitutes you are, selling your privacy, your freedom, to those who use it for profit and control. People make up all sorts of insane excuses such as, I have nothing to hide. That isn't the point. As in most cases, this is not about you alone. It is, like most things, far bigger than your insignificant selves. You are damaged beyond repair if you consider this a valid argument of any kind. Privacy is a human right. It is not about you caring about your own privacy, which everyone does whether they admit it or not. It is about everyone's right to privacy. By not standing up for privacy, you are not just selling yourself away in a victimless crime. You are selling us all. You are stripping everyone else of their human right to privacy. It is all linked. That is the point. You have no right to control my life, dictate what my rights are, what I am and am not able to do, think or say. By staying silent on the privacy issues we already have and allowing the next wave to come crashing down on us all, it is you who will betray all of us, it is you who will pull the trigger on us all. You are responsible for your actions against others, just as we are. The internet somehow made people assume that whatever they did in their computer would not affect their real life. Like somehow the internet isn't really real. As if only honest and good people are able to get online. Until they share a link on Facebook and get arrested by the FBI. People simply do not think about their actions any longer, and have no sense of responsibility or consequence. We are human, we are all on this platform we call Earth. We must share and consider each other. Hatred, violence, greed, lust, perversion, prejudice, racism, sexism, is all drained. Indoctrination. Mind control. We are not born with hate for another. We are not born divided. We are not born to judge. We are born free. We are born in love. We long to share, ease suffering, help, care for, love. Children understand this, before adults contaminate their minds. When will we see? When will we decide to be human again? Today's world is consumed by selfishness. Every action and thought of people today is dictated by it. Because of people's total absence of the ability to care for another living thing, we are all done. By feeding these trolls that strip away our privacy, by allowing Microsoft, Apple, IBM, Twitter and Facebook and Google to continue to be used and make billions in profit off of us all. 
We are all responsible and accomplices in the murder of humanity. This is all technology has ever done for us. It will only become exponentially worse. We think that the systems we have now are updating and advancing at such a speed we cannot keep up as it is, but the quantum systems advance at a drastic exponential rate. To be honest it doesn't matter when quantum computing comes into play, the point that it exists and is allowed to continue is appalling. It is like saying it is acceptable for Paris Pasteur Institute or the Galveston National Laboratory to contain the deadliest diseases in the world and to even create incurable diseases, because that is something necessary for life and future, creating incurable diseases. But brain dead, uncaring, so-called humans allow these perversions to continue daily. Humanity is going to be completely entangled in a quantum experience. The world is truly upside down. This is the alternate reality, the reality of the matrix. We have exposed all of this current day internet based spyware before and will continue on. Quantum computing APIs still depend on programmers understanding quantum physics as well as Python. In the case of IBM, since quantum computers write their own code which coders cannot understand, this will be a challenge. The merging of machine and human, two separate species, will be as it has been foretold to us. This time we all act, or we all die. Sadly for us, the choice is yours and we know what you will choose. Convenience and self. When they hook up quantum computers, all the data that is encrypted on the internet of today with the current encryption used, will be decrypted and insecure. Cryptography makes sure that only parties that have exchanged keys can read the encrypted message also called authentic parties. Quantum computers threaten the main goal of every secure and authentic communication because they are able to do computations that classical computers cannot. Consequently, quantum computers can break the cryptographic keys quickly by calculating or searching exhaustively all secret keys, allowing an eavesdropper to intercept the communication channel between the sender and receiver. This task is considered to be computationally infeasible by a conventional computer. Cryptography, derived from the Greek words hidden and writing, is the process of securing data in transit or stored by third-party adversaries. There are two kinds of crypto systems, symmetric and asymmetric. Asymmetric, or public key, encryption is used for everything from social media and messaging apps like WhatsApp to online payment systems and digital signatures. Once quantum supremacy is achieved, security breaches will no longer be incidents that affect a few hundred thousand or even a million people, we will all be at risk. Of course it is not the everyday hacker anyone should be concerned with, but the government spy stalking and international rape of privacy that is the real issue. It is a fact that symmetric cryptography can be affected by specific quantum algorithms, however, its security can be increased with the use of larger key spaces. Furthermore, algorithms that can break the present asymmetric crypto schemes whose security is based on the difficulty of factorizing large prime numbers and the discrete logarithm problem have been introduced. It appears that even elliptic curve cryptography which is considered presently the most secure and efficient scheme is weak against quantum computers. At the recent Churchill Club meeting in San Francisco, Cam Mola, professor of physics at Stanford University stated, people might feel safe because they have done everything they are supposed to do to secure our existing data, but quantum computing will break it. I do think that's scary. Anyone with a brain should think that is scary. And wonder yet again why we allow the elite to continue forcing this technocracy on us. All laws from all countries regarding censorship, privacy, and the like are ignored by enabling quantum computers. It is one more step into this new world order we have seen forming. This will open up the door for the process of one government to begin, no country borders. They are all falling apart currently, and the plans are coming together. There is much more to come, but this is one step we must all be watching for. Remembering always that just because your government didn't tell you, doesn't mean it isn't happening. For example, 
Today in this current time and previous years, every country has had independent laws. The internet is split up, censored per country, limited and controlled by each country. Each country has to go through laws and procedure to obtain info on an individual. Most countries are unable to read or analyze this personal data if it is a citizen of their own country so they must send the paperwork out to another country. They look at it and analyze it and then send it back. This gets done for a fee and it is the way they have to go in order to get around these pesky laws of privacy and human rights. If the individual is in their own country there are laws the government must abide by from within, and if it's international then there are those additional laws as well as the laws of the country the individual is a citizen of. Governments are used to going about these long routes in order to break the laws in place, however this is a good thing. It is a hassle, and it takes time and this means that they don't do these processes without significant reason. This ensures much safety to many. This will be no longer the case thanks to the new internet speed and consequent new computer systems. With quantum computing there will be no laws, no procedure to follow to legally obtain info. They will no longer need to even bribe companies to release private information about the individual because it will all be publicly available. The elite will do all they can to destroy us, to force us under their control, to force us to follow their laws. But we have no masters, and we recognize no authority or laws in this world. There are no jails that can contain us, for we are an idea. There is no weapon that can defeat us or silence us for when our bodies are destroyed as everyone's will be, our voices remain, and our cries will be carried on the winds and our truth will still continue to spread through the entire earth. There is nothing to fear for we are free. The elite are only men, and their masters are only liars like themselves. They know they are nothing, they know they are the enslaved ones for they are consumed by fear. They know their entire existence is supported by us alone, and without us, they will crumble and die. The elite have worked for centuries to keep you from believing you are free. It is their fear that you will one day realize all of this you call life is a lie. They fear you being truly awake, for only in your dreams do they hold power over you. Wake up and be free. Do you not want to be? The choices you make today can change the future, can delay or even destroy an agenda of the elite. We have accomplished this before. The choices you make today can determine the outcome of a person's life, or the lives of many. You can deny it, but it remains true. Freedom is possible, life is possible, all you have to do is grab it. Simply stop allowing your privacy to be stolen from you. If all you understand is to save yourself, then in this one instance, saving yourself will save others as well. You are so much more than you imagine. Do you not see what we see? We see you for what you can be. We know your best. We know your potential. We know what you are capable of. Why do you deny your worth? Why do you reject the value of life? A world without privacy is a world without freedom and by default, void of life. Do you cherish the life of your best friend? Your mother? Your son? Is the life of your neighbor of any worth to you? What about the widows in Syria? The orphans in Yemen? The persecuted in China and Hungary and Albania? Do these people not deserve freedom and life as well? Is their life of no value to you? Does their future not matter? Or are you simply a coward, allowing yourself to stay enslaved because of your fear of the unknown? Fear is a choice. There are no valid excuses for your inaction or silence. We are the anonymous charity also known as the collective. We are without fear. We will not begin to fear simply because the elite have continued their agendas. This changes nothing, though it changes everything. We all die one day and we know for us, it will not be of old age. Any true anonymous know, if we do our jobs correctly, we will be silenced by them eventually. That is the only way they know how to handle their fear of us, to silence us, to cage us, to kill us. We terrify them so greatly they must destroy us. 
As our enemy is so frightened of our power, it must create a world of spy gear, escalating it more and more to tighten their grip of control over our lives including our very thoughts and words. We will never become like our enemy, our mask is our constant reminder of them. So we never forget the face of our enemy. To defeat them you must know them. We will never fear a thing they do. The only thing that matters is life. Life is a choice, it's up to you to live it before it's taken from you. There is never enough time to do or say all the things that we would wish. The key is to try to do as much as you can in the time that you have. Remember, time is short, and suddenly, we're not here anymore. This is the voice of the anonymous charity. Will you too, join the collective?